Hi guys, welcome to another video. By looking at the title of this video, you might think about a couple of things. Either that I'm gonna quit Hoi 4 and never upload again, or that I'm gonna upload self-improvement videos, or how I stole this title from Slavic. Only one of those three things that I've said are true, and that's the third one, obviously. You might be wondering what the hell is blood rumbling on about. Honestly, I just had to make this video. I must admit that I have an issue. And I think I'm not alone in the world who has this issue. Because statistically, there's definitely millions of people who share my issue, or at least some parts of it, to either a bigger degree or lesser degree. Still, what the hell is Bud rambling on about? Let me tell you what I was doing a few days ago. Well, since a few days ago until yesterday. I got a gift from my subscriber, also Discord member, Discord server member, Foxy Cookie. He bought me Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. I played this game before, I must admit it's one of the best games ever made. It's a really fun game, and even when I played it now, once again after like two years of not playing it, I discovered new things. That's what I like about this game. And anyway, I played the game for a few hours, and the next day once again for a few hours. And then I remembered that the game has those challenges. Not just the vanilla challenges, but the special Gunrunners Arsenal DLC challenges. And I decided to do them. I kept doing them, and then I realized I can do all of them in one playthrough. So I did it. I finished it yesterday, after I didn't sleep until 6 a.m. day before, well, same day. I had a couple of those challenges left, so I woke up around noon, I finished them, I sent a screenshot to Foxy Cookie, the guy who bought me the game, bragged about it a little bit. The point is, who cares? Like, nobody cares, man. <laughs> I'm laughing because one guy who's gonna watch this knows this reference. Anyway, I felt like a piece of shit. I looked into the mirror, and then I felt like a pile of shit. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, I'm a bit chubby. I'm not obese, but I'm a bit chubby. I just felt even more bad, because I felt useless. So what I decided to do was, I just walked upstairs and downstairs. I walked about 8,700 steps yesterday for three hours, almost non-stop, but of course I took breaks, but... And after, like, half of an hour of doing that, I didn't feel joy anymore in what I was doing. Something that's quite the opposite of gaming. Which brings me tons of joy. But, here's the thing. Once I was done, I took a shower, I had a coffee with my parents, and I felt happy. Something that I rarely feel like whenever I play games. Then I went into the home and realized I have an exam tomorrow. I didn't study at all. Do I have enough time? No, I don't. You know what, I'm not gonna go to the exam. Yeah, after like a month of having free time, I didn't prepare for that exam almost at all. I was preparing for some other exam. Even that exam I didn't fully prepare. I mean, I did prepare it, but like, not entirely, if you get what I mean. What did I do this entire month? Oh, I was uploading on YouTube, right? Let's be honest, last thing I uploaded was 10 days ago. There was a live stream like 9 days ago. I wasn't uploading, that means I was busy, right? Yeah, yeah, I was so busy, so busy, you know. Growing my business in Hero Truck Simulator to completing the difficult challenges, being a cowboy and badass in Fallout New Vegas. Truly, I was busy. I sat down, I looked on my Steam, I saw I have 2,000 hours in Hearts of Iron 4. I have another 4,000-ish hours in Hearts of Iron 4 while I've played it before I owned it. Basically, pirated Hoi 4. That's 6,000 hours. That's about 8 months of non-stop playing Hoi 4. And to be honest, at least I can say that Hoi 4, out of all the games that I ever played, did bring something to the table to me. I made a YouTube channel. I met some people, some good people, some bad people, I had some laughs, I made some videos, which some people enjoyed, some people didn't, I left a trace of me, in some way, at least online, behind, and if somebody says that all of that that I've done is pointless and useless, at least I can say I made some money, because to me it seems like money recently is the only thing that matters to anyone and everyone. Let me put it this way, if you know anything about electricity, you're probably aware that the rubber is an isolator. Electricity doesn't flow through it. That rubber is basically a human when you think about it, and the electricity is money. That's because if electricity is strong enough, no matter how good the rubber is, it's just gonna flow through it. And the rubber loses its whole point and purpose. Anyway, back to the topic, Hoi 4 was, without a doubt, a useful game to me. However, I played way more games, and I played those games way longer and wasted way more time playing those games. I'm pretty sure that most of that time I wasn't even enjoying myself. But let's say I was. I was basically having a hobby of gaming, quote-unquote hobby, enjoying myself for probably around 20,000 hours. So yeah, two and a half years minimum of my life was wasted away just playing games pointlessly. So 
Last night I thought about it and I promised to myself, I swore to myself and to God that I'm gonna try to be a better man, a better human from now on. Because let's be honest, I'm 20 years old right now, I'm a young adult. In like 5, 6, 7 years I'm supposed to like get married and have kids, right? And what the fuck am I doing? Like, now honestly, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm pretty sure not just me, but what the fuck is wrong with us? Of course, if you're watching this and if you're like 12, 13 or whatever, you can enjoy yourself, you're still a kid, but... That doesn't mean that your joy now will not come back to bite you later on, but it's justifiable, it's okay, it's arguably okay. But if you're just like me, maybe 20, 18, 22, 23, and if you're having these issues, think about it. It's not really just gaming that we have issues with, it's also short-term content. Kind of ignorant coming from me, because it's literally an entropy that I'm also contributing towards. And while gaming does ruin your serotonin and dopamine receptors, and so does watching YouTube shorts and god forbid TikTok, besides also ruining your attention span, there's also a third issue many of us young men have. I'm not gonna say it out loud. If you're a male, and if you're between the ages of like 14 and 40, maybe even 50, which you most likely are, there's like 90% chance that you are, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, that's great. That's actually great. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't, don't try to look it up. That's amazing. So yeah, why the hell did I make this video in the first place? I don't know, I just wanted to say this out loud. I'll try to improve myself as a human, as a man, as a homo sapiens, not homo consumerus. Because let's be honest, all this content, we consume it and it consumes our lives. Yeah, that's deep. Write, write that down. <laughs> write that down. The whole point of this video is me rambling and also me hoping that you will click and you will listen and you will think about it as well. All the joy that you get playing games, watching short stupid videos, of course there's some exceptions, there's some guys who are funny and watching two of their videos today is not gonna hurt you definitely, but most of it is just slop, it's terrible. Doing all that is gonna bring you joy, that, that's without a doubt. And it's been bringing you joy and bringing me joy for years. For basically decades for me. Because I'm old as fuck. It just won't bring you happiness. That's just the way it is. I hope you enjoy this deep man talk. Or whatever the hell this video is. See you in the next video. And bye.